On today's episode, Hyundai buys Boston Dynamics, combining offshore solar, wind, and wave power, and smart microgrids ready for prime time, this week in engineering. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com slash TV today. In a blockbuster move in the robotics industry, Korea's Hyundai Motor Company has acquired advanced robot maker Boston Dynamics from SoftBank for almost $1 billion. The story was broken by the Korea Economic Daily, who reports that the deal will be financed approximately equally between Hyundai Motor and affiliated auto parts maker Hyundai Mobius. Now, Boston Dynamics will have the maker of such well-known machines as Spot, a dog-like robot, and Atlas, a bipedal humanoid robot. Hyundai Motor does develop robots already, specifically wheeled units for industrial applications. Now, Boston Dynamics, they originally spun off from MIT in 1992, and they were acquired by Google owner Alphabet in 2014, who in turn sold the company to SoftBank in 2017. The deal is part of a major push in autonomous driving and robotics for Hyundai, who plan to invest $1.4 billion in robotics by 2025. Previous acquisitions in this space were EV vehicle startup 42 Dot and Real Time Robotics, another Boston based company. According to Hyundai Motor Group chairman Chung Wei Sun, the future product mix for the company will be automobiles 50%, urban air mobility 30%, and robotics 20% of the business. Chung signals an intention to make additional acquisitions for mobility related companies, including those in the personal air vehicle, robotics, and last mile delivery space. Boston Dynamics products have impressive capabilities and they've garnered more than their fair share of media space, including here at engineering.com. Combining their technology with Hyundai Motor's proven mass production capability might just signal the tipping point for a truly wide-scale, street-level application of robots with both two and four legs. Gauting Germany-based Sinpower has developed a power production platform that can tie into a local grid or be deployed as a microgrid in remote areas that lack a central power utility. The company is testing its floating platform that can house renewable energy generation from photovoltaic panels, small wind turbines, and wave energy converters. SynPower's platform is made to handle ocean environments with minimal maintenance. Each module can accommodate up to four WECs, four small wind turbines, and solar panels. The modules, which fit into standard shipping containers, can be arranged in any convenient physical configuration, and additional modules can be added. The lithium iron phosphate battery has a 1.5 kilowatt hour capacity and includes a built-in battery management system, microcontroller, and battery health monitoring. For quick bursts of energy, the company's supercapacitors, roughly the same size and weight of the battery, can be added. Now, supercapacitors were once predicted to be the ultimate storage technology for electrical energy, storing charge electrostatically rather than using reversible chemical processes as in battery technologies. Now, for short-term storage, this is a proven technology, but multiple new battery developments have significantly lowered the cost of the chemical solution, with more new types like solid-state electrolyte batteries on the way. Supercapacitors are ideal, however, when you need a large amount of energy over a short time span. Now, for a grid, they're perfect for fast-response load-leveling applications. But with both batteries and supercapacitors in play, SynPower system may be appealing to both off-grid energy users and utilities. Interest in microgrids is increasing as households and local organizations install their own power generators, such as photovoltaics and wind turbines. Now, microgrids are used to efficiently distribute locally produced power to local consumers of that power, as well as energy storage providers. According to a recent report by Jody Molaner on engineering.com, a recent report in the IEEE Spectrum describes how a microgrid of 27 households in Basalt Vista, Colorado has reduced its utility bills by 85%. Now, this has in part been achieved by using smart devices that maximize energy efficiency. Each home is equipped with an 8 kilowatt solar panel mounted on its roof, along with a lithium iron phosphate battery. All space heating and cooling, water heating, and appliances are electrical. Now, this makes a great deal of economic sense, as most of the consumer cost has traditionally been attributed to transmission distribution and the markups charged by various grid system operators. What sets the Basalt Vista microgrid apart is that it's been designed following the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's Autonomous Energy Grids program. Now, this system performs load leveling autonomously with large numbers of smart devices, variable renewable sources, and energy storage being controlled intelligently. An AEG includes sensors and distributed controllers that work together to match supply and demand in real time. Now, this means controlling both consuming devices and generators instead of simple demand-based supply control. Now, the industry calls this demand-side response. This is one of many microgrid systems that are powering homes right now. With these systems moving beyond experimentation and into daily life, we're looking for new suppliers and whole industries to compete with utility level power generation in the near future. 
That's it for this week's show, brought to you by engineering.com/tv. Thanks for watching.